Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and in this video what I want to do is give you a very quick look at the new Sky Enhancer feature in Luminar and also to have a look at the AI features in general. So to start with I've selected a couple of images that I'm going to run through Luminar. So these are all straight out of the camera. Uh, I deliberately picked images that had some sky in them and also some other details but also were fairly bland. So as you can see here are the three images that I have ready. So let's start by calling Luminar and I'm using it from Photoshop here. So I'm using Luminar as a plugin, which you can of course use it uh, standalone or as a plugin for Lightroom as well. I'm just using Photoshop because that's just what I have open here. Okay, so now we're in Luminar and the first thing I want to do is load the quick and awesome workspace because this has the, the AI features already loaded in it. And you can see the second one here is the all new AI sky enhancer. They have been teasing this for a little while now, so you may have seen uh, demos of it already, but I was kind of curious to see how it actually worked. So let me just start by just dragging this up. And as you can see, it's pretty much just what it says in the tin, it enhances the sky. So it's kind of darkening the blues and increasing the contrast in the clouds. However, it does seem to come um, with a small cost and that is some of the clouds are starting to solarize a bit here. Now again, this could be partially because I'm coming from uh, a JPEG. So that could be partially the problem. Um, but let me just turn this back off. So the original AI filter, um, Accent AI, kind of does a similar job, but it does it to the overall image. But you can also combine both of these which I'm going to do now. So as with most things like this, you probably don't want to have them up at 100%. However, it, combining both of them, they do, it does actually look pretty good. Um, considering this is where we started with, which was a fairly bland image, and now that's got quite a bit of pop to it. The only thing I will say is that banding doesn't seem to be there as much when you're just using the Accent AI filter. So I don't know if this is problematic with this, um, or it's just a case of really literally pushing the image too far. So. Again, if we turn the AI filter off, the accent AI filter off, that's what it looks like with just the Sky Enhancer. And there's what it looks like with just the AI filter. So combine both, and that's what you get. Okay, so this image I thought was kind of interesting because you have only a small patch of sky here, but there's also sky reflected in the buildings. So I'm curious to see how it works with this. Because I noticed if I just switch back to the previous image here, What's actually happening is, is is quite clever because it does appear to be detecting the sky no matter where the sky is in the image. And it's also, it's not affecting the building, which is quite impressive. So it's automatically figuring out where the sky is and masking it. Now, I'm not sure how exactly they're doing that, whether it's purely based on color or they're doing something more complex, um, but it seems to work quite well. So back to this image, let's see what happens when we send this to Luminar. Okay, so again, we're going to load our quick and awesome workspace. And once again, let me just see what happens with just the sky enhancer. Okay, so in this case, you can see it is darkening the sky again. Um, I don't seem to be having any of the solarization issues from the last image. So I'm guessing that was probably um, a problem with the image itself. Uh, I do notice though, however, if I toggle this on and off, it is darkening the sky and the buildings as well, which is what you would want it to do. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, and again, if I zoom in here, and I toggle this on and off, you can see it's not really affecting the building. And there's no kind of edges or any kind of issues with the mask. So from that perspective, it's quite impressive. So again, let's see what happens if we combine this with the Accent AI filter. So I'm just going to drag this up full. So now we have both of these up full. And as with the last image, this is actually really, really good. So it's very interesting what's going on here because with just two sliders they've been able to do what would have taken me quite a bit more time and involved probably involved some manual masking uh, as well as tweaking a lot of different things if i was to try and do this in photoshop or even in lightroom and there you're able to do it now with just two sliders so here's before and here's after um and to me that's that's pretty good uh, i mean obviously it's you don't have the artistic control over it that you would otherwise but Again, it's pretty impressive. So if I turn the sky filter off, you can see it is actually darkening the skies um, 
And I think it is increasing the contrast in the clouds as well, which is quite interesting. So it's not the same as just using a polarizing filter, for example. Um, but yeah, so that's, there's another example. And again, just to show you the difference, so that's just the sky enhancer, that's with nothing, so. And here it is, just with the Accent AI filter, and again, combining the two. So, it's not doing a massive amount, I think maybe this might have been overhyped a little. Um, it's pretty good, but it's not, like, super amazing. Um, but it's a very useful tool to have, I think, in my opinion, anyway, just from the time that I've spent trying it. I think it's actually, it's a pretty good piece of uh, technology that they've got going on here. Although, creatively, it may seem a little underwhelming. And I think part of the problem and part of the reason that it is underwhelming is because the Accent AI filter is so good. Um, but it is, again, when you combine both of these, it's actually very useful. So again, for our last image here, this is a particularly bland image, so I'm curious to see what this does, because the sky is actually quite flat here and does need a lot of enhancing. So let's see what happens. Okay, so again, let us start by just using the sky enhancer. And as you can see, again, this is, it's darkening the blues and adding quite a bit of contrast. But again, we're running into this limitation here of the fact that I'm using a compressed JPEG file. So you can see there is a little bit of banding in the sky. Yeah, you may not see this on the video, um, and the video compression may be making this worse anyway. So, uh, yeah, it's just something to be aware of. But you can, of course, dial this back a little. And again, let's see what happens if we combine with Accent AI. And again, that's probably a bit too much. So we'll just dial that back again. Yeah, so there, again, once again, there's before and there's after. So with just two sliders, you're able to do fairly complex edits and uh, get quite a good result. And then obviously you can use that as a basis point to start doing further editing. That's pretty much it. So I do think it's a very useful tool to have. And I think technologically, it's quite interesting what's going on here. Uh, I don't think it is the most revolutionary thing to come along. Um, I do think Accent AI is probably more impressive. Uh, however, when you combine the two, it does give you a useful set of tools. So um, it's a nice feature to have in Luminar. And uh, yeah, it just kind of adds to Luminar's tool sets. So I hope you have found this useful. If you have any questions and would like me to try anything, just let me know and uh, I will do another follow-up video. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, uh, give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.